Hey guys, it's Licious Kid from Climax Combo, and today is the day we have all been waiting for. Today I will be showing a Maki wife and deck profile. Uh, a lot of people have been requesting for one, so uh, I thought why not today? Today, as of uh, the date of this video's upload, April 19th is uh, Maki's birthday, so you know, why not upload it today? So yeah, uh, nothing serious here, just a joke deck. Um, today's deck is yellow blue, and yeah, not else much to say. So I guess with that, let's get started. Um, just putting it on the front to show off. But to start things off, we have four of these Makis. Uh, this is a PR. I don't exactly know how to get it. I think it's the Blu-ray PR in Japan. So yeah, I know it's just a PR. I'm not exactly too sure. But anyways, it's a zero zero five hundred. What it does is it's a 500 in front assist, and um, as another effect of on play, you can look at the top card of your library and either leave it there or put it to the bottom of the deck. It's actually a pretty important card, so yeah, I'll go into that more later. Next, we have four of these other Maki 0025. Uh, what it does is if you have two or more music characters, you need plus 1k, so with two other characters, it's a 0035. It's honestly pretty bad, but I run it for the color count because uh, I needed more yellow in the deck and uh, there's not a many good yellow Maki cards. That's level 0. Next up, what you should be running instead of this, uh, 004k. What this card does is on play, uh, you must mill the top two cards for your library, put it to the waiting room. If there is a climax amongst it, you must put this card to rest. Not that big of a downside, and the free mill does help out. Next up, we have three of these other Maki. It's a 001500. What she does is on attack, you can give another Maki character, the character must have Maki in its name, uh, plus 1500 power and plus one level. So it's actually a pretty substantial boost. And it uh, combos with the book here. Uh, also, when this card attacks with the book, you may discard a card. If you do, choose a music character and add it to your hand. So it's an okay climax combo, and the uh, on attack is actually quite nice. So it's a pretty cool card. Next up, more Maki, of course, 0025. Uh, uh, this one climax combos with the wind trigger here. Um, when this card declares an attack, if you have two or more music characters, uh, you may pay cost, which is one. If you do, uh, Search your deck for a music character and add it to your hand. Once again, not a too bad of a climax combo. Next up, I run one of these Maki's because it's cute. It's a 0, 0, 500. Uh What it does, it's it's a level 0 1k backup, which is lousy. And has another effect of, um, if you have a level 3 character on the field, this card gains plus 1 soul. So yeah, it'll be a costless 2 soul if you have a level 3 out. Next up, uh, you have two of these Maki's. Um, it's a 0, 0, 1500. What it does is, is a, uh, it has a continuous effect of the center character in your front row. Gains plus, plus 500 power. And it has another effect of a uh, brainstorm. You pay one, uh, mill four. For every climax you hit, choose one of your music characters and give a plus 2k until the end of the turn. And yeah, that's all my level zeros. I believe that's 18. 4, 8, 11, 14, 15, 18. Yep. Next up, for level 1s, I run 3 of these Maki's. It's 005k. What it does is for every other level 0 you have out, uh, this card gains plus 500 power. So the full field of level 0s before it says she can be a 107k. Other level 1s is 3 of these other Maki's. They are 105k. What this card does is on play, it gets 500 for every music character on the field, including herself. So if you have a full field of music when you play her, uh, she'll be, uh, she'll gain plus 2.5 power, so she'll be a 1075, which isn't too bad. Next up, I run three of these 1 1 event backups, your good old 1 1 3 5 uh, level 1 backup. And next up, uh, three of these events. This is from the new booster. It's a 1 0 event. What it does is when you play this event, you clock yourself one damage. If the card that you clocked is a Maki card, 
you may draw up to three cards, discard one card, and then um, give a character plus 2k until the end of the turn. It's actually a pretty cool uh, event. You uh, clock yourself a damage if it's a Maki, which is every card in the deck that's not these events and the climax. Then you get to draw three, ditch one, and you give a character 2k. So you plus one, because you do plus one off this, and you give a character plus 2k. Uh, but you do take one damage, and sometimes it misses, which really sucks. But still, uh, lots of benefits when it does hit, and it usually hits most of the time. So yeah, it's a pretty fun event. And that's it for level 1s. 3, 6, 11, 14, 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm sorry, I can't count. 12. On to level 2. One of these 2, 1, 3k backups. Generic 3k backup, but it's really cute, so I run one. More backups. At this point, there's way too many backups, but I don't care. Next up is a 2, 1, 2, 5 backup. Uh, yeah, so pay 1, 2, 5 backup, but when you use this backup, if you have a full field of Machis, which is going to happen, uh, you gain a blind stock. So it's essentially free, but uh, yeah. Oh, I also have Maki sleeves, if you guys haven't noticed. So yeah. Anyways, uh, next up, 217k. This is the PR from the new booster, the Dancing Stars on Me promos. Um, it's a 217k. It, this card has Hand Encore, and has another effect of uh, put one of your characters to rest. And if you do, she gains plus 1k until the end of the turn. So if you tap both your back row, she'd be a 219k. Uh, not very good, but the art's really cute, so I run one. Lastly, one of this card. It's a 2-1, 1k in front assist. And another effect of pay one, put her to rest. If you do, um, give a character plus 2-5 power until the end of the turn. Not the greatest assist, but uh, more Maki, the better. And that's it for level 2. Only 4 cards, but because if you guys know Love Live, or if you guys just know Maki, then up next is the real level 2 of the deck. It's a 3-2-9k. Um... What this card does is if you have six or more climaxes in your waiting room, uh, she loses one level in your hand, so she can't come out as early as level two. And it has another effect of on play, you get to draw two, ditch one. And it has another effect of, um, it gets 500 per music character. So if you have a full field of music, before it says she is a 3, 2, 11k, which is quite nice. So, uh, you know, comes out as early as level two, pluses you by drawing two, discarding one, and she's big body, 11k. So yeah, this Maki is awesome. And lastly, anyway, it's a 3-2-10k, um, this card's freaking dumb, um, <laughs> it heals on play, and it has another effect of, uh, during your opponent's turn, it gets 500 per other music character, and it's only during your opponent's turn. It's like the TD, it's like the Trial Deck Xenon from the Gun Gale Online Booster, if I recall correctly. So, uh, double R, TD level 3, right? Good job, Bushiro. But yeah, that's it for level 3s, because these are all the Maki level 3s in the game. Oh, my cards are slipping. And lastly, for Climaxes, which I forgot last deck profile, I'm sorry guys. For uh, Wind Triggers, that combos with the level 0. And for books that uh, com also combos with the other level 0. So that is every card in the deck. And I guess I'll talk about how you play the deck level by level. That's odd, the camera just stopped for some reason. But anyways, um, how you play the deck level by level. Honestly, it's a waifu deck. Uh, as you can see from the cards I run, the deck is fairly straightforward. Uh, I guess try to have a couple assists rocking in the back. You're going to be riding these assists all the way to level 2. Um, Let's see, use combination of this, and ah, where's my other level zero? This, use these two to beat things up, and yeah, um, also climax combo went appropriately with these two cards. These two cards climax combo are good throughout the entire game. So yeah, uh, don't feel shy, just climax combo when necessary. They're both really good. 
And yeah, level 0, honestly, nothing special. Um, level 1, once again, nothing special. Uh, beat things up with this card. And this. Just try to uh, build advantage of these. These, this, these cards can actually hit pretty decent power. Like, uh, if you play this right here, it gains plus 2, 5, so it'll be 7, 5, 1,000. So it'll be 8, 5 before, it'll be an 8, 5, which is not too bad at all. Uh, this gets 500 per 0, so with just something like this, she's a 106k most of the time, which isn't the worst thing ever. And, uh, you know, more level zeros, more power to her. Uh, the event is also pretty nice, because um, it gets a, you get a lot of benefits, like I said, you get to plus 1. You give a character plus 2k, and but of course you do take 1 damage, but that's, uh, you know, you can get over it. Also, it's, it has good synergy with the assist, because uh, you play the assist, look at top. Of course, uh, if it's not a Maki, put it to the waiting room. If it is a Maki, leave it on top, uh, and then play the event, and that way you can guarantee yourself that the event will successfully land. Every character in the deck is a Maki card, that's not an event, or climax, so most of the time it does work out. And uh, yeah, these cards can hit pretty big power in conjunction with the event, and in conjunction with this card here. Uh, this card, like I said, gives a lot of power. You attack, of course, you know, uh, let's say you play this, 7, 5, 8, 5, you attack, uh, 9, 5, 10, you play this, 12k. So yeah, cards can hit fairly large power with this and this, so yeah. And you also have the event backup for more power on offense if you really need it, or, um, you know, good power on defense. So, yeah, uh, deck hits uh, pretty decent numbers. Uh, level 2 is nothing special. Um, just try to, you know, get a level 3 Maki out, because, you know, level 3 Maki, lots of good things happen when you get level 3 Maki out successfully, so yeah, definitely try to get Maki out uh, ASAP, and when you can, just get Maki out. Um, eh, this card is meh, not really important, I'm just running one for kicks, so don't feel too bad if you don't get it out. Uh, I guess some funny synergy, because this card gets plus one level on attack, you could like attack, give this plus one level, now it's a level three, now you can attack with this, and then it gains a plus extra soul because you do have another level three out on the field. So you can do funny stuff like that. Um, if you really want to be like funny, you could attack, give this plus one level, and then attack because you have a level three out. Just some, you know, funny shenanigans you can do with this if you really want to be a troll, but uh, yeah, honestly level 2 is nothing special, just try to uh, play level 3 Maki and uh, go from there. And lastly, on to level 3, once again, uh, the deck has zero game ending ability, all you do is play level 3 Maki to heal, Happy Maker Maki I should say to heal, and then play the other Maki from the first booster to gain advantage and uh, try to not let your hand size die. And yeah, that's honestly it for the how you play the deck level by level. Just uh, try to build advantage with uh, the 1-0 event. Uh, hit pretty big numbers in conjunction with the event, the climax, and uh, you know you can actually have a pretty decent search engine with the climax combo from uh, these two cards. So yeah, uh, not the worst waifu deck ever, to be honest. It's not too shabby. And then, yeah, that's how you play deck level by level. Nothing too crazy or complicated. And lastly, I guess, some alternatives. Um, honestly, uh, you know, to make the best waifu deck, you must have everything hollowed out. And that's it. Just hollow everything. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, honestly, but yeah, to be honest, uh, just run your favorite Maki card. It's a waifu deck. No one's taking it seriously. So just run whatever you want. But, uh... I guess, personally, for this build, or the one I'm showing you guys, uh, I wanted more level 1, uh, 
I only own three of these each, which is like, what the hell? I thought I owned a playset of both of these, but uh, apparently I didn't. Earlier this week I was looking through my boxes, but I only own three of these each, so... Uh, honestly, I would bump this up to four, and I would bump this up to four. But, uh, yeah, just, so get four of these, honestly, that's what I would do. And, um... I think that the deck has too many backups right now. It has three event backups, two level two backups, one level one, zero backups, so that's six backups. I would probably cut out, like, uh, one of the, I would cut out at a, I would cut out one of the level two backups, or even the level zero backup, just cause, or even the level one backup. Doesn't matter, just cut out a couple backups, but, uh, I don't know. I'm just, this is just what I'm playing with right now. So yeah, definitely cut out a, uh, I would cut out a couple backups for, uh, more of these if I did have the space, but I don't, so I just guess I just have a bunch of backups. Uh, but I guess that's it. Every, this deck isn't too expensive, everything is pretty accessible, nothing too crazy. Like, uh, the only double R in this deck is this. And, uh, this card is not good. <laughs> it's pretty much, uh, an expensive trial deck Xenon. But, uh, yeah, this is probably the most, that's like, it. Uh, besides that is this card. This is definitely, I guess this is the most expensive card to get. And it's actually a pretty important one. This is, uh, like I said, it's a PR. Uh, and PRs tend to be a little pricey depending on how, how hard it is to get. Uh, this one, as of last time I checked, it was around 2,200 yen, so I guess around $19 or $20 in US dollars, because yen is pretty weak right now. But, uh, pretty important card, because it's a level 0 assist, and, uh, yeah, the level 0 assist it works well with the 1-0, because the 1-0 gets 500 per level 0. There's no other level 0 Maki assist in Love Live right now. This is the only level 0 Maki assist. The only level, actually there's the other PR actually, but uh, I think this one is better. So, huh, I guess there's the other PR. But anyways, I think this PR is better. But this card works well with this. And it also has good synergy with the 1-0 event. Uh, pretty important because this does guarantee it, or pseudo guarantee. It makes it uh, more likely to happen because you look at top. Uh, if it's a climax, put it at the bottom, and then you can play the event and hope from there. Or you can just, uh, you know, look at top and then just try to guarantee it with this. So, pretty important because it helps out with the 1-0 and it helps out with the 1-0 event. So, yeah, pretty crucial card. Without this card, I think this deck would be 10 times worse. But because of this card, the deck becomes a little better. So, definitely a pretty important card in the waifu deck. Uh, besides, okay, yeah, besides this, uh, the deck is fairly cheap. So, if you guys wanted a waifu deck... Maki isn't too expensive, and I guess you don't you don't have to run this, but I do think this is really important in the waifu deck. So definitely, if you can, try to get your hands on some. And that's it. Run whatever you want. If you want to want, run the one to two change in the school idol festival uh, booster, go for it. Uh, if you want to run the happy maker changer, the snow halation changer into the happy maker, why not? I mean, you know, just run your favorite cards. And that is it for this deck profile, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little more laid back. Something, you know, pretty chill. Uh, don't really have these joke decks. This is like pretty much the first joke deck on the channel. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until next time.